and God has not forgotten about you. He will always fulfill his plans and his promises about your life. Greetings, beloved, in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today, I will be sharing with you what I have entitled, Do Not Be Discouraged in Your Time of Want, Rather Have Faith in God. And our scripture reference will be found in the book of Luke chapter 1, verses 45. There is always a blessing, Brother Luan, in believing in God. And when we look at uh, Luke uh, verses 26 to 31, we hear that Mary got pregnant uh, by the Holy Spirit because she believed in what the, the angel Gabriel told her. And we can only receive what, or we can only receive everything that God has promised us through faith. And we can look at uh, Hebrews 11 verses 6, and it says, And without faith, it is impossible to please God because everyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him, seek him rather. And uh, John 3 verse 16 says, whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Uh, the, the Bible verse that we're talking about in Luke, it says, blessed is she who who believed that the Lord will fulfill his promises to her. This is our focus in uh, Luke chapter 1 verses 45. So it took Mary nine months for her to receive her promises. And sometimes as people, it can take us longer than that nine months that it took Mary. And we look if, if we look again on the very same chapter, we hear that Elizabeth conceived her child when she was 88 years. And I'd like to believe that in the whole time of Nakoe Elizabeth was growing, Gayona, she was praying in faith that Ndatemudimu Amofenwana, but it never happened, Ganako Eo. And I'd like also believe, Hori, she be, she she forgotten that she once prayed in faith. But little did she know that God does not forget his promises to us. And Elizabeth was chosen to be the mother of John the Baptist. We hear that in, in the Bible. And she was pregnant at the very same time that uh, Mary was pregnant with. And as much as she was that old, uh, it was God's plan for her to fall pregnant at around that time. And also, John the Baptist was supposed to be conceived for, for him to come and uh, prepare people for the coming of Christ. And also, Elizabeth, I believe that Elizabeth, during that time when everything was happened, that is when she recognized or understood the, the plan that the delay for her not to have a child back then, it was actually God's plan about her life. And when we look at the very same chapter, Luke chapter 1, verse 41, it says, When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb. So today, Barcelona, I would like to say to you that do not be discouraged if you are in your waiting season. And God has not forgotten about you. He will always fulfill his plans and his promises about your life. And I'll say to you today that continue to have faith in God, continue to pray, and God will show up himself in your life. Can we pray? Father, in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, for the word that has been read today. And we believe, Lord Jesus Christ, that in our heart, Father, you have already fulfilled the promises that you said you will do in our lives. And help us, O oh God, to stay and remain faithful and believing in you that whatever that you promised to us, it has already been fulfilled. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen.